Welcome my dear friends. What you see is a common issue in rooted Android devices. Some apps give you an error similar to this, and some apps just won't open, or disappears after initial loading. This mostly happens for apps from banking and financial services, apps provided by government agencies, and few other sensitive apps. Even though you unroot your device, some of these apps still gives you trouble. In this video we will show you two methods to access such apps on a rooted Android device. Method 1, using Magisk app. I've grouped Method 1 instructions into five steps. If you already have Magisk installed in your phone, you can directly skip to Step 5. Step 1. Download Magisk in Android. Please download Magisk from its official GitHub page. I have provided the link at the end of the video description. Once APK file is downloaded, open your file manager. Navigate to the default download folder. Please rename the file to change the extension from APK to zip. Step 2. Download TWRP Recovery and Android Platform Tools in PC. Let's first download TWRP. All download links are at the end of the video description. Please select device and model. Use any one of these links. Let's now download Android Platform Tools. Please open the link in the description and download Platform Tools. Please unzip the Platform Tools. You can also move the TWRP zip file inside Platform Tools for easy access. Let's make TWRP file name little shorter for convenience. Step 3. Fast boot to TWRP recovery. Connect Android device and PC with USB cable. Please enable developer options. Scroll down and enable USB debugging. Please open Platform Tools folder. Press Shift key and right click on blank space. Now choose Open PowerShell window here. Go to Command Prompt. Check if ADB connection is established successfully. You will see a prompt in your phone. Please quickly select this checkbox and allow. On successful ADB connection, you should get similar message. If you see unauthorized, then you should allow ADB in phone and retry the same command. Now power off your device. Press and hold download mode keys specific to your device make and model. If you are not really sure, then search internet with your mobile model. For my device, it is volume down plus power. I have to press and hold these two buttons until I get into download mode. Please use below command to fast boot into TWRP. Feel free to replace the TWRP image file name according to your case. Your device will restart, and you will see TWRP recovery screen. Enter your screen lock password, if asked.
Step 4. Install Magisk. Select Install. Please navigate to the path where you have Magisk zip file. If at all you have not yet downloaded Magisk to your Android device, then you can download it from GitHub web page in your PC. Place it inside Platform Tools folder, rename the APK as zip, and push it using ADB push command, as I'm doing now. Navigate and open Magisk zip file. Please swipe to complete the installation process. Once installation completes, restart the device normally. Step 5. Hide root access. Open Magisk. Select settings at top right corner. Click on Hide the Magisk app. Type in the name that you wish. Henceforth, Magisk will appear in this new name in your app drawer. Enable Magisk Hide. Select Super User Access. Set this as disabled. Go back and select this little super user icon. Click on Magisk Hide. Select the Banking or Problem app to expand. Now turn on this checkbox as well as these enable buttons. We are almost done, if the Banking or Problem app is already open, please close it completely. And freshly open the Banking or Problem app from the app drawer. Hopefully it should work fine. If you still face issues, please close the app. Go to App Settings and clear cache and data. Method 2. Using any private workspace apps. Download any app that can create an isolated private workspace within your device. For this demo let me use an app called Multiparallel. Please use this Add Clone button to import the problem app inside this clone app. Once imported, please go ahead and launch. For the very first time, it may take some time to launch, or you may sometime get a blank screen. If that happens to you, please try to relaunch the app inside the isolated area couple of times. I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions, please add your comments below, I'll respond to you. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done already. Thank you so much for watching.